Hello, this is Pastor Scott Cruz from The Rock, and this is the first point of our message, um, Understated Excellence, looking at the metaphor with the Gerber artifact. And I dropped my Gerber artifact. The first point I want to make with you is that at The Rock and for our Lord, we want to be thrifty, but not cheap. Now, there's two different uh, financial approaches that most churches have. And I just read a book that talked about if you have a pastor that is more entrepreneur and a church that is more uh, spend as little as possible approach to stewardship, it can be a conflict and how you're, you need to be careful of that. Now, when you're a church plant, you have to be entrepreneurial in how you approach ministry because everything is a dream for tomorrow. And, and just so you know, a good example of, of that is, I'm going to grab my... A good example of that is, when I first started thinking along these lines of being fascinated by the quality of something so small and so simple looking, is my Leatherman. Now this is the Leatherman TDI, and uh, if you ever open and close this and then do it to one of the cheap ones that you'll find it, at, you know, at, a, at a, you know, the $10 one, the difference is so amazing. And originally I wanted to buy one of these for each of my leadership team. And then I realized that these are $110 each, and I can make the same point with this brilliant little tool for $10 each. And so we went $10 each, and because my leadership team right now is the whole church, because they have been with me from the very beginning, and they are so loyal and so faithful. And and uh, so anyway, we went with the Gerber Artifact. You know, we have a, our sound system that we have is thrifty, but not cheap. We, we had a job to do, and we did it as efficiently as possible, but without cutting corners. I believe that God deserves my best, I believe our community deserves our best, and sometimes you gotta spend money. Now the kickback to that is, is that when you are dreaming and you're spending money in that direction, sometimes you, may, you waste money, you know, and not, not everything works all the time. And things have been ruined super good at the rock, and so I can honestly say that I don't feel like we've wasted anything yet. Uh, but, between you and me, someday I'm gonna mess up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow some money, and nobody is is uh, more heartbroken of wasting God's money than I am. But I will say this as well. My attitude is, is that if I have to miss it 10 times to hit it big once, that's what I wanna do. And so I, I am, so we're thrifty, but we're not cheap. We spend money when it's what we gotta do to give the glory to God and do the very best that we can. Um, you know, thrifty uh, saves money in the long term. Cheap saves money only in the short term. It costs money in the long term. You buy the wrong kind of equipment, you're just going to be fighting that equipment for as long as you have it, and then you're going to want to buy better stuff anyway. So much better to bite the bullet, buy the good stuff at the beginning, and then you have good stuff that whole time. And so, you know, another thing we do is that we shop around. We have free donuts at The Rock, you know, and someone said, why do you do that? Well, there's a few reasons why. We have free donuts and coffee and water. And I think we're going to be able to have popcorn here pretty soon. Because um, yeah, we're at the movie theater and that's just really cool. But we um, we do that. It's, is that thrifty? Is that, or is it cheap? Or is it just wild spending? <laughs> you, know? you know? The reason we do it, and we believe it's thrifty, is because, here are a couple of things. Uh, number one, we want to create a culture of community. We want people to be standing around eating their donuts and chatting. You know. Uh, another thing, we want people to... Uh, we want a culture of generosity. We want people to we want to be open-handed all the way around. Uh, another reason is when way back at the at Heartland when I was pastoring there, we were debating whether to spend the money on donuts or not, and we were wrestling with the, whether the money was being well spent. That's a couple, you know, a few hundred dollars a month to donuts and coffee for everybody, and um, this couple got up and they shared, and and this couple um, had. Uh, you know how people kind of come to your church in clumps sometime? Well, this person brought about like three couples to the church. And uh, they stood up there and they said, you know, we can't, we can't, we were college students. We came to church. We didn't have anything. And, and we loved the donuts. And we came, to, we came that next week and we said, if they have powdered donuts today, this is my church. And they came and we had and they powdered donuts that day. And those college students, that donuts were a real draw. And I thought, you know... And this particular family had, had grown, had matured to the point they're giving and tithing. Their giving alone more than pays for our donuts. That's thrifty, not cheap. Cheap would say, let's cut the donuts in half. Let's have not as good of a donut that are cheaper. Um, but thrifty says, let's spend the money on the quality stuff 
believing it's going to have a bigger return later. So that is thrifty, not cheap. May the Lord richly bless you, and I hope to see you in church on Sunday at West Acre Cinema at 10 o'clock.